When China's Type 039 sea submarine is caught in a critical decision whether to sacrifice 30 tons of load for the missile drogue unit or stick to the iron law of stealth is king, the technological debate over the 3,600-ton conventional submarine is shaking up the underlying logic of modern naval warfare. The Pentagon's satellites are watching every detail of the design because the answer is not only about the fate of a submarine, if the drogue system breaks through the traditional positioning, it will overturn the century-old division of labor between nuclear and conventional submarines and even rewrite the rules of underwater attack and defense in the Western Pacific. Is it a technological leap or a strategic trap? Vertical launch system tactical revolution began at the end of the Cold War nuclear submarines. The U.S. Los Angeles class in the middle of the hull inserted 12 units of VLS, a single-boat land strike firepower increased by 300 percent. This underwater arsenal ship model in the Persian Gulf War to show amazing effectiveness. But when similar design ideas to conventional submarines migration, physical laws and operational environment immediately formed multiple shackles. The German Type 214 submarine design team, for example, calculated that the installation of four units of VLS requires the removal of a five-meter section of the pressure-resistant shell, resulting in an 18% reduction in the capacity of the battery compartment and a sharp drop in underwater endurance from 420 hours to 310 hours. This exchange for conventional submarines that rely on stealthy surprise defense is close to suicidal behavior of exchanging life force for attack power. China's Type 039C submarine faces an even more acute conflict. The submarine's Sterling IP system requires a continuous supply of liquid oxygen, and its storage unit occupies a prime section in the middle of the hull. If the VLS unit implanted in this area, not only will squeeze the oxygen tank space, but also will destroy the boat's center of gravity leveling. Japan's Kanglong class tests show that the VLS lead to changes in the distribution of weight will make the submarine emergency surfacing time increased by 1.2 seconds. The gap is enough to allow anti-submarine helicopters to complete the attack on the positioning. More fatal is that the VLS open cover instantly generates the air bubble effect, will make the submarine acoustic signature surge 20 decibels, equivalent to the sonar screen lit up for 5 minutes. The sonar screen lit a signal torch that lasts 5 seconds. Faced with the dilemma of the drogue system, the Chinese military industry chose a more creative technology path. 39 IC equipped with improved 533mm torpedo tubes through the adaptive hydraulic buffer device to achieve the Hawk 1-8B anti-ship missiles, hot and cold co-rack, launch. This 0.85-meter diameter missile is ejected to a safe distance with compressed gas after exiting the tube, and then the solid rocket motor is ignited which not only avoids high temperature gas damage to the hull, but also controls the exposure time of the launch within 11 seconds. Comparative tests show that this method reduces the probability of a submarine being detected by active sonar by 63% compared to VLS launch. Behind this breakthrough is a leap forward in materials science. The gradient ceramic composite material used in the launch tube can withstand instantaneous high temperatures of 1,500 degrees Celsius without deformation, and its technical specifications exceed those of the Russian Club missile launch system by 30%. More critically, the design retains the core advantage of a conventional submarine. The entire ship's armament is built into the pressure-resistant casing. Research by the Swedish Saab Group confirms that an external VLS unit reduces a submarine's maximum dive depth by 18%, and in the East China Sea, where the average water depth is only 370 meters, this represents a loss of strategic value in terms of depth avoidance. When the outside world focuses on the firepower system, 039C's real killer app is hidden in its tail. The world's first X-type rudder and shaftless pumpjet combination system applied to mass-produced submarines. This technological breakthrough, originating from the team of Ma Weiming, an academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, is reshaping the rules of underwater manoeuvring. The traditional cross rudder needs eight seconds to complete the 45-degree turn. X-type rudder through the four-wing surface differential can be completed in 4.2 seconds while reducing the eddy current noise to 17% of the original value. 2022 South China Sea Confrontation Exercises, equipped with the system of the 039C and the evasion of the U.S. system of MK-54 torpedoes, the success of the use of three consecutive 15-degree fine-tuning maneuvers, creating a 37-second record of disengagement from the sonar lock. But technological innovation always comes with a price. The 72 sets of hydraulic sealing nodes of the X-type rudder require a full set of pressure, tests every 150 dives, 
which is 240% more maintenance man-hours than the cross rudder. For this reason, the Chinese submarine force introduced a predictive maintenance system based on digital twin technology through 126 microsensors installed on the rudder surface, real-time monitoring of metal fatigue and sealing status, compressed the failure response time from 72 hours to 8 hours. This intelligent compensation mechanism makes the availability of complex systems in combat reach 94%, far exceeding the 78% of Japan's Great Whale-class submarines. Behind the debate on the vertical launch system lies a brutal arithmetic problem. The Chinese Navy needs to maintain the operational readiness of at least 45 conventional submarines in order to maintain a normalized underwater blockade of the first island chain. If each submarine costs $180 million more due to the addition of VLS, the entire fleet would cost more to upgrade than the investment in a single carrier battle group. The return on this cost inflation on the battlefield is fraught with uncertainty. Tyvon's military push data shows that conventional submarines carrying VLS have a 22% lower survival rate in the first week of war than conventional models, as they are more likely to be prioritized for targeting by anti-submarine systems. In contrast, the distributed kill chain model used by the 039C demonstrates a higher cost-effectiveness ratio. A single submarine can command six SHU-001 UAVs to build a 200-kilometer wide detection network through the use of a data link with the UAVs. This manned-unmanned tactic was used to locate three simulated enemy submarines within 72 hours during the 2023 China-Thailand joint exercise. What's more, this model does not require disruptive hardware changes but rather software upgrades to improve combat effectiveness, which perfectly fits the Chinese Navy's philosophy of progressive innovation. The dispute over the 039C's technological route essentially reflects the divide in the perception of modern underwater warfare. Traditional thinking is still the submarine as an independent combat platform, the pursuit of single-ship firepower and performance parameters of the ultimate, and the Chinese Navy is building, submarine is the note of the marine battlefield internet of things. In this system, 039C's quantum communication equipment can receive wide-area surveillance data from space-based infrared satellites in real-time, and its onboard eye system can compare 1,000 acoustic features in 0.3 seconds, a capability that has already been verified when tracking the U.S. nuclear submarine, Connecticut, in 2021. It is worth noting that the tactical deception system Tested by China's military industry on the 039C marks the full extension of electronic warfare to the underwater realm. The system can simulate the acoustic characteristics of three different types of submarines and generate virtual torpedo firing signals. Similar technology helped Yemen's Houthi micro-submarines successfully break through the Saudi Navy's anti-submarine network during the Red Sea crisis in 2024. The development of this cognitive domain warfare Capability makes the threat of submarines less dependent on the number of missiles and more dependent on their ability to create fog on the battlefield. While the U.S. Virginia-class Block V nuclear submarine increased the number of drogue units to 40, China's choice of the 039C reveals a different kind of strategic wisdom in a choker point in the East China Sea with an average width of only 360 kilometers. It is never the amount of firepower projected that determines victory or defeat but rather the precise balance between sustained submergedness and lethal strikes. The father of the German submarine, DNITZ, once asserted, the value of a submarine lies in its deterrent effect when it is undetected. The 039C's design philosophy is a contemporary interpretation of this statement, to rewrite the battlefield equation by pushing stealth to its physical limits. Constructing a mobile black hole at the edge of the enemy's perception network, and using presence rather than missile counts. The three-year technology debate ended with the launch of the Chinese Navy's 25th 039C. The smooth rear of the hull was replaced by a more hydrodynamically integrated shape, without the bulge of the drogue unit. The Pentagon's China Military Power Report had to admit, in the complex environment of shallow waters, this restrained technological choice is yielding strategic benefits beyond expectations. Perhaps this is the ultimate law of underwater warfare. The greatest threat will always come from the unseen enemy, and the strongest weapons are often the least perceived to exist.